Hey everybody, Rainbow Fish is back here again. Uh, continuing on with my um, Pokemon Outlaw run. Uh, a lot of the players here, it's going through quick. There wasn't really a lot going on. Like I said in the other video, that I will be cutting out a lot of the unnecessary talk between the people. But So I did a bunch of grinding all through the... Oh, I forget the route. I really gotta keep track of the routes here. But I go to Fusha City. And then, uh, the cops took my girlfriend. So, now I gotta go rescue her. So let's, let's beat these guys here. None of them were really any challenging at all, which is not surprising. <laughs> Luckily, I did a playthrough before, so I knew what to expect going in. Um, and, uh, the Pleaf Chief, I've decided to do this battle. He, his Pokemon are actually pretty good. I like his sprite. And just like, yeah, standing there's a Gia. I'm the Chief. But, ah, uh, Meditate goes down with a side beam. Well, not a full side beam, but almost goes down. I uh, figure recover. Go down another side beam. Meditate is out. Now my Kadabra's back at full house. Hell, bleh, health. Ah, uh, sends out Gyarados, I send out Raichu, no contest there. His Pokemon are a little higher level than mine, but I think just with my, my types, I'm able to prevail through. I didn't get the one shot on the knockout, but he uses Foresight, so. The one thing I don't like about this one game is that the AI is not very smart. A lot of the times I'm winning just because of bad AI moves. Oh, and I almost get it. And see right there, you go you could have knocked me up, but he goes for a foresight. Cadaver gets the KO, the level up. And yeah, so that was kind of a no contest. I don't want feature sight. Nope, nope, get rid of that. That RK9, my for alligator should be able to take it out. But <laughs> I only got an ember. I mean an ember, um a water gun, so yeah, it's not really doing a lot of damage unfortunately. But I think I get surfed pretty soon, so then I'll make up for it. Oh, there we go, got the knockout on Arcanine. For alligator levels up. Pause there. Uh, yeah, but um, it was a lot of fun recording this video. Um, there'll be this is kind of the last video of the journey like the next video will just be me and the elite four and then that'll be it for this and then i'll start off with my randomizer solo run there's the surf and that is oh just recording it um the pokemon i have is all right i guess but the, his uh move set is not very good so it's going to be a little challenging down the road but i'm still working on it you know and here I go to, I believe it's a strip club in, uh, in Fusa City. Yeah, yeah, this is just a strip club, so it's <laughs> look like they're dancing. Oh, I'm putting that right on Facebook. Oh yeah, I'm leaking that. I'm freaking telling. <laughs> hey, nice, a tea. Yeah, and the tea is uh, good for those um those guards, but I'm pretty sure I've already bypass them no 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 i haven't yet no yeah i'll make travel a little bit more easier i guess then i go down to the slums nothing really eventful this guy's a drug dealer and all these people around here just hanging out drugs are bad very bad okay. and then i go to face koga I should win. Awesome. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I in this video I go against all the uh, gym leaders. So, well, the remaining gym leaders, like all the other AI battles, they, they weren't really notable. So, I just kind of skipped through most of them out of the recording. So, uh, but uh, Kadabra is really under level. But I believe with his speed and well, her I guess that's a female. I guess with her speed and her special. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. I know Muck will take a little bit. He has good defense. Oh, but I get the crit. A sludge, boom, takes Cadaver out. Oh, Muck goes on a hyper potion and combustion does. Ah, doesn't really have good attack there. 
I just figure I'll just whittle them down and just blind them. Whittle them with that. Oh, but I get the toxic, so my play here is just to keep sand attacking them. I'm not really going to do too much damage. So he's going to keep using minimize, but I'm also going to lower his, his accuracy, so we're, we're, we're going to kind of be on even playing ground. I won't be able to hit him much, and he won't be able to hit me much. That ain't too bad. I think I got about two more turns in this um, Toxic will take me out. Oh, maybe three. I think three. Oh, no, there we go. Sludge takes it out. Oh, ooh, and Sludge even does a good damage to Snorlax, but I figure one more. Oh, that was another hyper. I thought they were only supposed to get two items to use in battle, so now we're back to square one. Oi. Oh, nice. Got the paralyze. I don't know what my thought was there. I think he has one more Pokemon. Oh, yeah, probably wheezing. Uh, yeah, I'll hit him with, uh... I don't know why I yawn. But I don't know what my thought was. Oh, yeah, I could go to sleep, so I just... Oh, <laughs> I twisted my phone around. So let's go back there. Just with his minimize, it's just gonna be hard to hit him. But luckily, he gets paralyzed. I hit the body slam. Muck goes down. And wheezing. I wanna put him to sleep. I don't want him to use explosion. Oh, he may be poisoned. Alrighty. At least this one will be a little better. He won't be able to get the type. Kind of type advantage, I guess. It's poison, so. I'll be using the full sleep, full heal. That is just a wheezing. Wheezing has good defense, but uh, whittle him down because that sludge, even though it's a powerful attack, it ain't doing much to me. There's a self destruct, needle king is down, but I get the wing. Oh no, I don't get the wing. Oh, he had two wheezes. Oh my goodness gracious. I wasn't. Yeah, I, I've recorded, like, recorded these, like, maybe a month ago, so, like, I'm way behind on my editing and uploading. Busy. It is what it is. I got a job and a family. I can't be here every day playing and uploading and all that, so. Uh, and, yeah, oh, nice. I beat him. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing much ROM hacks like my first plan was. I think I'm gonna go with uh, the solo randomizer. And I'll just be cool because everything's randomized, so. Like, unlike, um, no, I don't want some help. Unlike. Scott's thoughts and J Rose and all that, where they can plan ahead, you know, with the typing and the moves. With the randomizer, I have no idea, so it's gonna take a little while to go. And I figure at this point I'll evolve my Kadabra to Alakazam. Luckily, on this, you just need the Moonstone to evolve the traded Pokemon, so now I got a powerful one. So now I'm in a Silk Co. Yeah, Silco in uh, Saffron City. I'm gonna do the Team Rocket. None of them were really a challenge at all. And now my Pokemon just start to evolve. My Combustion becomes into a Blaziken. And he's gonna be very helpful. Oh, that's not very nice at all. Not very nice. Oh, and then here's Leaf, my rival girlfriend or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, let's do this. So I believe she sends out Pidgeot first. Yep, Pidgeot. Snorlax. I wasn't thinking I should have did Raichu, but, eh, you know. I decided just to make him go to sleep, and I'll rest. Get some health up. Ooh, load my attack. Feather Dance. What the heck? And now I figure I've had Snorlax for a little while, so I'm going to see, like, how Return does in comparison to Body Slam. Body Slam was my main. Ah, he uses Whirlwind, sends out the Pokemon I need, Raichu, gets the Thunderbolt out, and Lanoon? Lanoon. Ah, well, with my Fighting Stab, do Brick Break, one hit, out, and then next comes Gra... Gradivor? Ah, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't really not familiar with this gen, but with Shadow Ball, won't be too much of a challenge. Yeah, two hits down and magnium. Oh, I like I like grass Pokemon, so Button Blaziken use I gotta get rid of that ember at some point. 
Now, all, my, all the Pokemon that I have here, I've planned to be able to use for the Elite Four. The Snorlax, damn, it's not really... doesn't really do much come the Elite Four. I just like to have the ability to stall, kind of put them to sleep, rest, and just with that high HP, but he, he, he doesn't really... It's not really effective on a lot of the Pokemon there. But Leaf goes down, and now it's up to beat Giovanni. You could get a Skarmy from this guy here instead of the regular Lapras that we can get, but I did Skarmy on my first playthrough, but it wasn't very, wasn't very good. And Giovanni, like Enceladon City, is going to be a no contest. Persian is going to go down really fast. I put on Surf, so now I get that stab. So. Oh, critical hit. Oh, lucky. Nice. Person goes down for alligator levels up. Kangaskhan. Oh, normal type. We get that brick break. Ah, oh, he braced himself. Dang. Almost got the one hit, but... Go for the amber, but... He switches Pokemon to Needle King, my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Megahorn. Yeah, that's not going to be very effective at all. Peck. Yes, well, yeah, super effective because I am a fighting type, but it doesn't matter at this point. Needle King goes down. And then next up, Kangaskhan, which I'll probably use a brick break. Nope. Ah, dang, endure. So, <laughs> gets it down to 1 HP. Next Ember takes him out. And then ride on for Alligator. And that's just, I could even use a water gun, but I was like, whatever, just use Surf. Ride on is down. Giovanni is finished. Team Rocket has been defeated. A million dollar deal. And as the president. Let's see. Well, he couldn't kill me, that's why. Ah, yeah, Charcoal, that'll help. I don't get the Master Ball. He's giving them to somebody else. Ah, well, I beat the, the Fighting Gym. No contest. I didn't even take the Poke Fighting Pokemon. I don't need Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. And then I go to Sabrina, so she reads my mind. But, hey man, it's not disgusting, that's, it is what it is. <laughs> now with Kadabra, yes, I know some Raichu, use the Thunderbolt. Kadabra goes down one hit, sends out Mr. Mind. Mr. Mind's a little kind of pain in the butt with his barriers and that. A good thing I'm using special moves, so Mr. Mind goes down in two. Venomoth, I don't even know why Venomoth is in a Psychic Gym, but you know, I, I think Scott Thought is on on this one. I think he's a, a Psychic Flying. It's got to be a Psychic Flying. Ah, Alexandrus Alakazam. And see what Combine, like, if you're trying to set up, like, I guess a weaker one, that'd be useful, but no. It's, so I mean the bad AI on here. Sabrina ain't really hard. I take her out and then I kind of grind up, grind around for a little bit. Um, then I go to fight Blaine, go to the Pokemon Mansion, which is, is just like <laughs> just a party mansion now. So it's just a bunch of people just getting lit and having fun. Oh, not particularly jealous, no. I fight a bunch of people in here, but there's nothing really too challenging this point. Always working, eh? <laughs> Guy's annoying. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. This is a kid-friendly game. DJ Swag. Swaggy boy. Bunch of what are they called groupies or what's up, home slice? Yo, what's up, man? Oh, man, he just runs, runs a lot of stuff, eh? Music, drugs, money. I get the secret key I need. Solar beam, which is not very useful. Oh crap! Oh gee whiz! <laughs> Zip! <laughs> we wouldn't do anything at all. <laughs> 
all my perm. I'm just walking around. I'm a kid. I'm curious. So, and then here's my buddy there at the beginning and gave him my shoes. Darren, his name is. Darren. I already got the key. I go through here. I just fight all the trains just to get experience because I know I'm going to need it. Hmm. For the Elite Four, they are kind of a challenge, so... Oh, douche. Gave him a million dollars for a badge? I ain't giving you a million. How about I just beat you? Old school style. Uh, Flareon versus my for Alligator. Yeah, Surf is not a two hit though. Oh, that Fire Blast was doing about a quarter, so it's not too bad. Magmar. I think I still have my rule on here with no um, items in battle. So. Oy, that is starting to do a lot. Ah, uh, the Hyper Potion, but I figure I'll get the two attacks. So Water Gun's not too annoying, so Water Gun, Surf, Magmar's out. And then coming next will be, what, oh, Rapidash, and then Arcanine. Oh, Fire Blast is doing a lot less, but luckily Surf, one hit, takes it out. Now Arcanine is going to be more of a challenge. A little bit bulky and has good attack and lowers my attack with Intimidate. Oh, but <laughs> Surf, one hit, takes him out. For Alligator was able to pretty much sweep his entire team, except for Flareon, which he needed two hits. Oh, and Magma, yeah. Fire Blast, I don't think I'm going to need that. I think Flamethrower is a more viable option, just better accuracy. And then I go for the eight badges. Oh, man, this took, this took a lot longer <laughs> than what this video is. Like, the amount of hours and everything that I had to record and edits. Wait, alrighty, so we're fighting May. May is the 8th gym leader, Pelipper, Pilipper, whatever. <laughs> Send up Snorlax. I think my return is starting to do good enough damage in comparison to um, Body Slam. Yeah, see, stockpile, like, this is what I mean, like the AI, this is just like frustrating. Not like the difficulty of it, but just like, uh, just the AI, it was just not very good. And Waylord gets taken out with one hit with a Thunder Shot. Tropius? Cool looking grass Pokemon, yeah. So I got another video after this. It's uh, the same game, but I um I used a cheat. Oh no, I cheated. Woo! But anyway, to get on um, Mewtwo, so I do a solo run with him. So that'll be coming after. I'm still working on my solo run, so I don't even think I'm halfway. I've been kind of slack, and I've been very busy. But uh. I'm gonna have a bunch of free time soon, so hopefully get more videos down and clay it all. Oh, Hyper Beam. I always thought clay it all was uh, like a rock type, so. Or ground type? I think he is actually. No idea. <laughs> Different gen, like I said, I'm not knowledgeable here. But I'm able to beat May. It wasn't very hard. And yeah, I go heal and then I face the. Final rival battle. Earthquake. Yes, Earthquake's gonna be so helpful. Throwing it on my Needle King, of course. Needle King needs to have that stab Earthquake. Which is weird because Needle King, I don't really use him actually in the Elite Four either. <laughs> you could try to kill me. Try it, punk! Yeah, that's what I thought. Alakazam versus my Snorlax. One return should just take it right out. Do your calm mind, it doesn't matter to me. Even though he they over levels me by a lot, it's not too hard. Exeggutor will use a blaze kick. One hit. Exeggutor's down. Charizard. I set up my Fralgator, and then we all know his remaining ones. Which will be Venusaur and um Blastoise. Levels up. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I'm just swapping back. Yeah, I guess it's just going to be like mostly Blaziken and for Alligator and the Elite Four who's going to be doing most of my most of my wins. I just like for Alligator. It has good high good high high attack and good like defense. I really like the defense. Blastoise sent out Raichu. Oh yeah, Raichu is very 
could be very useful. I was thinking of a different electric Pokemon, but I was like, hey, you know, Raichu has good attack and special attack, so the super effective stab damage will be very useful because taken out in one hit, that's all right. But I'm able to take out Blastoise, no problem. Raichu gets the level up. Ah, Snorlax. There's this little copier. He copied me. I had my Snorlax first. But, yeah, see, it's, I, he blocks me, and it's just like, ah, oh, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to run away. I, I can't run, so. That's just, like, what's really frustrating is just, like, the AI on this. It's just like, ah. Oh, now the final rival is down. I start going. <laughs> nice little joke. <laughs> My favorite one is always walk by people and be like, hey, you dropped your pocket. And then they look and I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. Classic. Oh, I had it right before the Elite Four. A final battle with uh, the girlfriend there. Well, this should be not too bad. She has a pretty good team. I don't know how she would do against the Elite Four she went. But I, I, I did go back and buy some TMs. I figured I'd get a Thunderbolt on Snorlax. Just to help. Just in case I need it. Because Return was doing enough damage that I didn't need to use. Um... Oh. I didn't need to use Body Slam. And I'd rather prefer to have Yawn and put somebody to sleep than to paralyze them. Just so then I can set up my own rest. This would be no contests. Except for, well, I guess that Ice Punch is doing enough damage, but, you know, Alexander's still gonna get the victory. It's kind of, uh, this is just a weird choice why she would have this one here. I know, like, you get that Hyper Beam stab, but then it has to recover. It's not like Gen 1, but, uh, whatever. Earthquake almost gets it down. I decided to throw a Mega Horn on him for that bug just to help maybe it's just some coverage for against a Psychic. I know he doesn't have the speed so it'd be mostly just chancing to survive a hit and throw that down. And Blissey, huh? that's cool, a lot of HP, Mega Horn, almost takes it out, Mega Punch does nothing, I poison it with Poison Point and just throw a Thunderbolt which I thought was going to kill it but I was like nope, no, nope, I'm going to hang on but Poison takes it out. And the Rapidash, her number one uh, for alligator is not going to be too much. And burn doesn't matter with my attack because I'm pretty sure that Surf is a special move. So, for alligator is down. And that is the conclusion of this video. Sorry that the times from uploading is very scattered all over the place. It is what it is. But please subscribe to the channel, like the video, throw down some comments, what you think of the game. The game itself is fun, but you all have a good one.